do we need? Dear, you can't come. I'm so sorry. You've got to stay at home today. Um, um, my babies, I've got to go. I love you so much. Let's go. Oh! I wasn't really in the mood for explaining this morning, so let me tell you what's going on. So at 6.30 this morning, a group of us met at my friend's house, packed the car up with picnics, tables, chairs, gazebo, and of course wardrobe options, and drove the three hours over to Peterborough. We got there just after 10 and the ring had already started their first class of the day. There are quite a few different rings, but we mainly focused on the Old English ring. But then there's also the modern Bassett, Harrier and Beagle rings. And in our ring, at least, the dog classes were in the morning and then the bitch classes after lunch. It's a really easy schedule to follow. There are three classes for both dog and bitch hounds and they are the best unentered hound, which is for young hounds that haven't yet hunted a full season, best entered hound for the ones that have, and then best stallion hound or brood bitch. And then after those three classes, the winners from each one will go into the championship for the overall winner. That's kind of like the serious stuff out the way for a few hours. And all anyone's thinking about is going back and having the picnic. So we had a quick little peruse around some of the trade stands and then went back to the gazebo for lunch, which what a lovely spread. The sweet peas just make the table. Look at everyone in their dresses and I'm in jeans and boots as if it's like the middle of winter. Close up of the boots, of course. So the lunch was really good. We had like a jug of pims, some nice rosé. It was just a good spread. And actually as a vegan, I didn't find it too hard to find things to eat. My plate does look quite dry, but I can promise you I did eat more than just what I showed you. And we were also celebrating a birthday. So then once lunch was all done and we'd like covered everything over with cling film and just like started the tidying up process so it wasn't gonna be a huge job at the end of the day, we went back over to the ring for the bitch classes and we did actually get a win in one of the classes and it's really bad because I can't remember which class it was. I probably could find out but I'm, I'm not going to. So obviously that was really good and it just lifted everyone's spirits even though everyone's spirits were high anyway but it's just so nice to have a win We'd picked up a second and a third in some of the dog classes, but it's just nice to get that red rosette with the number one on it and feel like you're the champion, you're the winner. So that was really good. Um, as she is, she's a lovely, lovely bitch. And then that was kind of the day coming to a close. It's not a massively long day. It finished about four, half past four. So then there was a bit of time to go and have a look around some of the other stands that we hadn't really looked at. There's so many interesting things, she says, zooming in on the gins. They were delicious and I did end up purchasing one of them, the apricot flavour. I'll show you later. But there were some really interesting shops with like really old books in. A lot of them are very serious books about like the hunting countries and stuff. But I like the ones with the pictures and like the funny quotes because they just make me laugh. And then everyone kind of met up, reconvened at the bar, had a drink packed up the rest of the stuff that we'd brought, like the table, took the gazebo down, put everything in the car, and then it was everyone in for the three hour drive home, which was excruciating. Guys, oh my God. Oh my God, does she not look like she's been dragged through the hedge backwards? It is half past 10, and I'm just now sort of sitting down and allowing myself to relax. I've just taken the dogs out for a quick run. I've had a cup of tea and like smashed some toast. I'm not okay. I've had like three, four hours sleep last night. A whole day of like traveling, walking around. It's been so much fun. It's been such a good day. But my God, am I tired? I did pick up a few, look at the pretty sky. Gorgeous. Um, oh my god. Um, I don't know if you've noticed, but when I'm tired, I get very shrill and whiny. And I'm not even whinging, it's just I'm like, oh, I'm tired and I want my mum. So just, I'm gonna have to deal with it. Anyway, I want to show you what I got today whilst making myself a cup of tea because medically, I need it. I need it. Where is the soya milk? Why is the soya milk always gone? I'll tell you the tea on today though. I was a little bit worried about my outfit because I planned 
for like really bad weather. So I wore white jeans, blazer, Fairfax boots, like knee high Fairfax boots. And everyone else was only in bloody summer dresses and like wedges and sandals. And I was like, do I look really stupid? But actually once I'd been there for about 10 minutes, I was like, who cares? I need to sleep for a week. I really do, I really do. Okay, look at the loop. Look at my loop, look at my loop. Sorry, that was meant to be Ariana Grande. Look at what I got. We got, most importantly, a golden apricot gin liqueur made with English apricots, London dry gin and British sugar with some fever tree white grape and apricot, apricot sodas. And that was from the Fox Denton. Real fruit, real flavor, established in 1935. Fox Denton spirits and liqueurs. That's just alcohol, that's not that exciting, although it is delicious. What we really got, these are the goods from the hunting stock market. We got, this is like the most important thing and this has been such a long time coming. I've actually got a real hunting stock shirt. Like a proper winter one that's gonna keep me nice and warm. Because basically what I've been doing for the last two seasons, however long I've been going hunting for, I've been wearing my show jumping shirt with like a thermal underneath it. And my show jumping shirts are fine, but they don't really have much of a collar because it's just more like decorative rather than for actually having a stock. So this one's got a little bit of a higher neckline on it. And it's just a proper hunting one. Um, um, checkered one although you won't see the checks obviously when I've got my jacket and my stock on so the pattern's a bit irrelevant I just liked the green and the blue it reminded me of my school skirt if we're gonna be honest um so it's nice and big I did size that like I think I probably could have got away with a size down but you're not gonna win any prizes for having a smaller size so we sized up so at least like it's gonna be long enough to make sure that it really tucks into my breeches so when it's winter and it's miserable and it's hailing and snowing and bitterly cold, I'm not going to get a cold back. We're going to have plenty of fit, fit, material, fabric, material down our, down our breeches to keep our back warm. That's what we've got. It's been a long time coming, but now I've got one and now I don't need to think about it every time. And it's got nice elasticated cuffs. Very happy with that purchase. Um, of course, you can never have too many hair nuts, especially when you go through them like I do. And um, yes, that's what we've got. I didn't buy loads and loads, but I bought things, well, I bought alcohol, and which I think will be really nice actually to have in my hip flask when I go hunting. Um, so yeah, I bought something to have for my hip flask and I bought a stock shirt. I look like a drug dealer. Look at me. This is what like sleep deprivation does to you. Like, bloody hell. It's been a three hour car journey there and back, plus like a whole day, plus like setting up a gazebo and putting on like a full on spread and just being like, number one entertainer like cracking the jokes living the dream i've performed my rap a few times and actually i want to show you something let me just go and grab my phone which is on charge so basically i got a tiktok message off someone today saw you at the festival of hunting didn't know if you'd want a random person coming up but love your content always make me laugh Yes, I would have loved you to come up. Do you know how much I would have enjoyed that? Coming up and saying hello and that you recognise me off TikTok or YouTube or any of the above. I would have thoroughly enjoyed that, especially in front of everyone. I'd have been like, yeah, that's right. That's right. So that just, it's quite nice when you get messages like that. Just because it just, I don't know, it's just nice. It's nice that people message and say that they enjoy your content. And, you know, it's quite, although I would have liked this person to have come up to me and said hello actually it's quite nice they kind of respected 
my privacy and my space and didn't just bulldoze in and say, I know you because I've seen you on TikTok. So thank you so much for being respectful and thank you for sending me such a lovely message. Just whilst we're in the mood of oversharing and um, doing things, I was supposed to have a photo shoot with my niece yesterday and the horses and I went and picked her up and we like started getting the horses ready and like planning our outfits. And then the photographer canceled last minute because the weather was disgusting. Like it did not stop raining all day. Um, so we decided that we wouldn't give up. We wouldn't be put off from the fact that we had no photographer to take the photos. We took them ourselves. We got a tripod and we kind of did it together. And I just want to show you quickly. These are unedited. This is raw footage. I just want to show you some of the ones that we got. That one. How much do we love that? Like, I'm a little bit apprehensive to post it on my Instagram because you can sort of see my bum cheeks. And I was like, oh, there's no way I can post that. That's so annoying. Like, the photo's ruined because my bum's out. And I thought, actually, no, if I was wearing a bikini, you'd be able to see a lot more than that. And I'm going to post it anyway. I just haven't yet because I've not had time to edit it. Um, this one I thought was really cute. Laura on Cali. There's some lovely ones of Laura on Cali. I mean, there's so many. You'll basically just have to kind of like wait until we've put this together. And we're going to do a lot of TikToks and stuff. Also, my niece made me jump a bench on Billy bareback in a snaffle, and he's not a snaffle horse, wearing a dress, no hat, not even any shoes. I was just barefoot. It was very, very um, not one to try at home, but it was a lot of fun. And um, I was like, I don't want to do it because, you know, I'm wearing a dress, I've got no saddle, I've got no boots, no hats. There's just a lot of things that can go wrong. And Laura was like, no, no, this is my opportunity to get payback for all of the things that you make me do when you're giving me lessons. She's like, you always tell me not to be scared, not to make decisions based on fear and to like trick your brain into thinking that you're not scared, you're just excited. She was like, so get and jump the bench. She was like, this is my one opportunity to make you do things because it's always the other way around. I was like, you've kind of got me there. Like now I kind of have to prove that I am not a wuss so that you will listen to me next time I'm telling you not to be a wuss, you know? And sometimes you've just got to put your life at risk. And also I've always said I trust Billy with my life and that was me, you know, backing the horse, I suppose. Is that the saying? That was me putting my money where my mouth is. And also my mouth needs to go to bed, so I've got to go. Good night, everybody.